and August 2010, sound artist Hugo Solis and marine geophysicist Tim Crown were invited to spend 15 days at the oceanographic ship Thompson as part of the Ocean Observatory Initiative. This initiative will construct a network of instruments, undersea cables, and instrumented mornings that spans the Western Hemisphere. This network of observatories will measure physical, chemical, geological, and biological phenomena in selected coastal, regional, and global areas. In this context, Hugo Solis and Tim Crone collaborated for realizing the first artistic sound recording ever made at a hydrothermal vent and probably at the deep sea floor. Hydrothermal vents are fissures in the planet's seafloor from which heated water issues. Hydrothermal vents are commonly found near volcanically active places and areas where tectonic plates are moving apart. In order to produce this recording, the team employed a custom fabricated recorder vent phone created by the research team of Team Crone. During the trip, the artist adapted the recorder for the artistic purposes of this work, allowing a better frequency resolution. The recorder was then attached to a tripod with other oceanographical equipment and launched by freefall to the bottom of the sea near the actual volcano at 1500 meters below the surface at about 400 kilometers west from the Oregon coast. ROVs are remotely operated vehicles employed commonly during oceanographical research. They are controlled remotely from a cabin located at the deck of the ship. These vehicles have video cameras, robotic arms, and a variety of sensors that allows artists and scientists to have access to the materials and unknowns of the seafloor. Jason was submerged into the sea by the team of the Woodhull Oceanographical Institution and waited for the recorder to arrive to the deep seafloor. Then, Jason grabbed the hydrophone and the recording session of the Medusa vent started. Using the robotic arm, controlled it from a cabin at the ship, the microphone was moved back and forth from the chimney of the hydrothermal vent, emulating the gestures of sound exploration employed regularly on our artistic daily life on Earth. The sound recording symbolizes a challenge, a communion between art and science, the poetry of technology, and the never-satisfied sonic curiosity of sound artists.